Hey, this is Shannon Tidwell, Garden Girl at Two Peas in a Bucket, and this is 213 in 2013. If this is your first time to tune into a 213 video, it is a weekly video series by myself and a team of other garden girls that airs every Monday. So we'll have a video and a layout for you that has about four to five different prompts in the video. So by the end of 2013, you should have a list of 213 creative prompts to get you started on your next project. It's been a busy summer, so I was glad to get to sit down and make a layout for you guys yesterday. I hope you enjoy the video today. We're gonna jump right into our first prompt, which is to use photos with text or icons printed on them already. I don't know about you guys, but this summer I've used my phone primarily as my camera. And there's several new apps where you can add the text and different icons onto your photos immediately. So those are really fun to get printed out and then use on your scrapbook pages. It's like a built-in embellishment when you start. I've grabbed a few supplies here on my sides. I've got mostly some new fancy pants and a little bit of basic gray. I'm um, kind of some softer colors. I really liked the blue and the black and white mixed together and maybe with a splash of a couple brighter colors, but that's where I'm gonna start for now. Of course, I'm drawn to these diagonals as usual. So I'm gonna go ahead and figure out my background to start with. And I think that I'm going to use this black and white um, diagonal as the background and then use the blue and white kind of as an as a um, accent on it. I really like the play on the diagonals using two different colors of diagonal stripes and since these are by the same manufacturer the diagonals will line up perfectly so it's just a matter of figuring out how I want them if I want them to be opposite if I want the black and the blue to go together and just kind of figure out the placement on the page. And now that I've figured out the background and we're going to jump right into the title for my page and I'm going to use the photo titles as the inspiration for the title on my page. You can see that I've cut the season out of the blue and white diagonal stripes and I'm kind of mimicking after the like the number one fan, the text there at the bottom of the photo. So I just kind of lined up those diagonal stripes and I'm going to go ahead and put some pop dots underneath the title so that it does separate from the background a little bit and doesn't get too mixed in with all the diagonals going on. But I think the pop dots will help it separate itself and stand out. You can see that I'm letting the title kind of bleed off the bottom of the page a little bit. So I'm going to, once I get them all adhered on, I'm going to come back and trim off the very bottom of the letters. It can be a little time consuming sometimes to use these little pop dots and you end up with the little white squares everywhere but the, the effect of it is really worth it. Okay, I've got the title adhered onto the page and now I'm just going to flip over the page and use my scissors to trim off that extra that's bleeding off the bottom there. So now it's time to start thinking about photo placement, but when I look at this page, I really don't like the separation that I see between the black and white and the blue and white stripes right there. I need something that will help connect those two pieces together and kind of make them one. So that leads us into our next prompt is to connect your background. Now this is something you could do with embellishments. I thought about um, die cutting a few arrows, big arrows, and having them go across the page. Just something that kind of connects those two pieces together. What I decided to go with was machine stitching. So you can see that I've machine stitched several of the diagonal stripes all the way across the page. So now I'm gonna work on my photo placement and I've messed around and messed around with these photos thinking I was gonna do them maybe horizontal across the page. I really didn't like how they looked too square. I'm just not a really square person and it was just too much for me. So I've decided to just go for it. I messed around and messed around so long that I was losing my mind. So I thought I'm just gonna start sticking these down and that's how it's gonna be. And honestly, that's when my best scrapbooking comes out is when I stop thinking about it and just let it flow and go. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm kind of still using the grid design, but I'm doing them a little kind of cockeyed angles just a little bit so it's not too straightforward looking. And especially with my background having so many lines in it, I didn't want it to be too straight and square. You can see that I use pop dots under one of the photos and that kind of just helps layer things together a little bit. I tried to place them down without overthinking it and just let them look like they kind of fell on the page like that. 
Okay, now that I've got my background, my title, and my photos set, it's time to start playing with the embellishments. I have found these fun little cork stars by Fancy Pants. They're self-adhesive and really fun to use at a nice amount of dimension, but without having too much weight, as well as adding a nice warm color to the page that I think really goes well with the black and the blue that I've already got going. So now I'm going to use some flags, which are by Basic Gray. And one of my favorite ways to adhere flags is just to put a pop dot underneath the flag itself. That way you don't have to worry about actually adhering the stick or poking it into something. And it also gives a little dimension, a little pop off the page. And it's a really easy way to get them to stay on there good. And that leads us into our next prompt to stack some flags. So I thought one flag looked cute, two looked really good. So now I'm going to go ahead and add in another. And I'm just kind of stacking them in together. You kind of see hiding the stick behind one of the other flags. Again, adhering with the pop dot. Adds a fun little embellishment over there on the side. I've got these fun black chalkboard type stickers by Pebbles. And this one just says summer on it. So I thought it would be a nice addition to the page. And the way it goes, it would have been nice if it was flipped the other way for how I have my photo placement. But since it isn't, I decided to use it up at the top because I kind of felt like I need to put a little something up there at the top. So I'm going to add that first. And I like to add a pop dot underneath my flag stickers like that as well, just so they're popping off the page just a tad, just a tiny bit, give them a little bit of lift so they actually look like they're kind of swaying the breeze up there. And then I have these cute little tags also by Fancy Pants. The color scheme is so pretty. I love the light colors mixed with the darker. So I think these will be great for my journaling. And I don't know if you noticed earlier when I was adhering my photos that I just add a little bit of adhesive behind my photos. Just usually one strip of adhesive through the middle because I like to have that extra room to tuck things in because I don't usually scrapbook in order or planned out. So I like to have that leniency of being able to tuck some things behind my photos if I so desire. So I'm kind of playing here with the tags, just seeing where I would like them placed and tuck them all the way around the photos. You can see I could do if I wanted, but it ended up just kind of looking like too much going on for me. So I decided just to tuck them in all across the top there. And then I found this cute badge by Basic Gray, and I wasn't sure where I wanted to place it, so I cut around it on the backing so I could kind of slide it around the page a few times and, and figure out where I'd like it before I had to make that commitment. I still want to add to my summer sticker up there, and I'm starting with a little wooden arrow, and instead of messing with glue, I decided just to use my tiny attacher and staple it on. And then I found this Hello sticker by Pebbles. I thought it yellow. I really liked the yellow that it brought out out of the photos and kind of a hello summer up there in the corner of my layout. I'm also going to add a pop dot underneath the very bottom of this flag. And now I want to add just a few more stickers around the page. I found some cute stickers again by Fancy Pants. This one is an arrow that says your story on it and I thought it would be cute it's got kind of a cork pattern on it, but I thought it'd be cute up there on the cork, kind of pointing to my tags that are going to have my journaling on it here in a minute. And then I found another arrow that says dream big, and I'm going to add it in down there with my flags, adding in a tiny little pop dot behind the end of it just to give it a little bit of elevation so it kind of mixes in well with those flags that are already down there. And then I found another small cork star which I thought would kind of finish off my cork stars and add a third there. I like things in threes. And another little tiny addition to the page I found a yellow star sticker on one of my sticker sheets and decided to be cute added on to the flags because there was already a printed yellow star on one of those flags down there. So a little added dimension just a tiny little extra touch for the page. So now it's time to start thinking about the journaling. What I'm going to do is just write my journaling across these four tags. At first, I thought maybe I would number them or maybe tell a different story on each tag, but then finally went with just one continuous paragraph, but on the different tags. And I'll just tuck them in behind the photos in the order that they go. Okay, friends, I think that this layout is finished. I'm really happy that I was able to get four photos on one page and they seem to go together really well. Also, I have all three kids on one page so that you know that's quite a feat. 
Our five prompts for this video were to use photos with text or icons printed on them already, to use your photo text as inspiration for your title on your page, to connect your background, to just go for it, and to stack some flags together. So hopefully at least one of those sparks your interest and will get you going on your next project. Thanks again for hanging out with me for this 213 and 2013 video. This is Shannon Tidwell, Garden Girl at Two Peas in a Bucket. Bye.